Meanwhile, Delta State has set the pace in Nigeria, been the first to endorse the restoration of mangrove forests, sea grass protection and preservation of the ecosystem for conservation and environmental sustainability. Delta State took the lead when it signed a memorandum of understanding with Serendip Capital UK for the restoration and preservation of the state's mangrove forest and its ecosystem at the government house in Asaba, the state capital. Speaking shortly after the signing ceremony, Governor Sheriff Oborivori commended all stakeholders for their visionary approach and <clears throat> unyielding commitment to shaping a more sustainable environment for current and future generations. Our Asaba correspondent, Apomidoro Friday, reports that Governor Sheriff said the Memorandum of Understanding just signed is very critical to the restoration and preservation of our mangrove forest and the entire ecosystem, prioritizing environmental sustainability and ensures local demands for job creation, infrastructure development, education, and climate resilient structures. Set a remarkable precedent by demonstrating how environmental stewardship can harmoniously coexist with human development aspirations. I'm deeply committed to environmental conservation and sustainable development, and therefore, ready to endorse the groundbreaking mangrove and seagrass conservation projects. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to our foreign partners for choosing Delta State as a potential investment destination. We are committed to building a mutually beneficial partnership that will boost economic growth and uh, enhance the prosperity of our people. On his part, the Managing Director of Serendip Capital UK, Rafat Riz V, thanked the state government for the partnership, assuring that the project would restore the ecosystem previously damaged by crude oil degradation. It is a long-term, 30-40 year solution to having a sustainable environment one in which the, uh, there will be uh, a significant, significant amount of job creation, educational opportunities, with a particular emphasis on youth development. This is something that both the, His Excellency the Governor has expressed a strong desire to see, as well as uh, other members of the Cabinet that have been working closely with us. So uh, first and foremost, as I said, it will be a better environment, but most importantly, education, jobs, and prosperity for the longer term. Disregard, but now that we have taken steps to legislate and domesticate this international treaty on endangered species, we are now amongst the Committee of Nations. It has huge benefit for Nigeria for funding or support from the international community, it has huge benefits uh, amongst the Committee of Nations and the respect that Nigeria will now gain uh, as a country who takes seriously this environmental management.